Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pops. Today we are going to cook tuna steak and sauteed vegetables. Let's get started. These are the ingredients we'll be using for today's recipe. For a full list of ingredients, please check the description box at the bottom of the video. What we are using for the vegetable are as follows. Water chestnut, a small can, baby corn, a can, and few pieces of green and red bell peppers. I'm going to cut bell peppers first in small pieces. These are my chopped bell peppers. Next, I'm cutting my water chestnut. I'll cut part of them into half and I'll leave part of them whole. And this is pretty well done. Now I'll cut the baby corn. Both these canned vegetables are pre-cooked. We have put all the vegetables in the bowl and we'll mix it up together and keep it ready for something. The seasoning ingredients are as follows. Two tablespoons of coriander paste. One tablespoon of lemon juice. This is one teaspoon of ground star anise. This is an example of full piece of star anise. One teaspoon black pepper. One teaspoon of allspice half a teaspoon of salt. I'll mix it up and make a paste out of it. You can see the paste. We are going to put this on tuna. I'll put the paste on one side of tuna on both the steaks. Make a thin film. Now this tuna is ready to cook. To cook the tuna today, I'll be using a cast iron corrugated skillet and this will give us some branding on the fish. To cook the fish, we'll put the skillet on medium heat and add quarter cup of oil. The skillet is now hot and we'll start cooking our tuna. We'll cook this two minutes on each side. Because of the thickness of the steak, we cook two minutes on each side so that the middle part of it will still remain uncooked and will taste good. I'm going to now turn the tuna. You can see nice branding here and we'll leave it for two more minutes here. Now I'll shut the stove and take the tuna out. Now we'll start cooking our vegetables and I'm going to put quarter cup of oil on high heat. The oil is now hot and I'm going to put the vegetable in it. I change the temperature to medium. I put some salt and pepper. Now 
started well and we'll cook it for two minutes. We'll cook for one extra minute and we'll turn. This vegetable is now done. This is our finished tuna steak and sautéed vegetables ready to eat. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so and remember to hit the bell button so you're notified each and every time we post a new video. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Until next time. It's time for the taste test. I'll start with tuna piece for the boss. Take one bite. It is so good and so lean. Very lean. Very nice to know. And now taste the vegetables. It's a good combo. Another piece of tuna. She likes it, she likes it. Yeah, I can see a smile now. Yeah, the smile is coming up now. That's good, that's good. Yeah, look at her. See? Oh boy. This, you can clean up the little <laughs> No, baby corn for mom. She loves this vegetable. The tuna is seared good on both sides and the middle part is so tender and tasty to eat. All the spices that we put on one side is still there and the taste comes in. Good stuff. A simple and delicious recipe to try in your home.